Those are some of the key things I would be thinking about if I was a young aspiring CTO. A CTO can bring to the table is strategy. And that's where we really lead from all of our clients is looking at their bigger picture strategy as a business and then how that comes into what we should implement and how we, we should sequence work on the development side. And it all starts with that strategic mindset, which is taking someone that is you know very experienced with building products, both deeply on the technical level, but also on the business side and being able to guide people through them. So let me tell you a story that tells you how I learned why this is so important for startups on a personal level. So I actually, many years ago, I recognized that I didn't have the full picture of what it took to build the product. What does it take to manage an engineering organization for a company? It's not about being a savvy programmer. It's about making sure we build the appropriate tech stack so a business can run reliably, deliver value, and even look attracted to buyers if you want to sell it. In this episode, I chat with Brian Ferris, who's the owner of Goldfish, a strategic technology consulting agency providing guidance and strategy for building out reliable and scalable tech stacks to act as a virtual CTO for their clients. We discuss the complexities of modern product development and the value of community as a metric for user engagement. You'll gain a thorough understanding of the challenges and opportunities in tech strategy, as well as practical advice for aspiring CTOs and product leaders. If you're just listening for the first time, I'm Caden Damiano. I'm a product designer and product management hybrid that works with product leaders to get an ROI out of their headcount. Follow me on LinkedIn to get more clips from this podcast in posts that help you rethink your career. And if you like what you're hearing and you like the format, please leave a review wherever you're listening to this podcast. Again, thanks for listening. Let's get on to the interview.